Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So this week I have some exciting videos, or at least I think it's exciting because I haven't done anything like this on my channel before. I have seen this on other people's channels. Um, I didn't really watch any of the videos when I looked it up, but the first couple ones I saw, they did the things, they did this a little bit differently. So I'm going to be doing one week using one palette. So five days, I'm going to be using the same palette every day for multiple reasons, mostly because there's a lot of palettes in my collection that I buy and use maybe once just for a video and I don't ever use it again, but when I used it, I did think it was a good palette. So this is going to challenge me to use the makeup that I already have in my collection more. So that's the first reason. And the second reason is just I want to get more things out there to you guys. Um, I want to put more tutorials out there. I want to put more content out there. This week, I really want to push these videos out. So Monday through Friday, I'm going to have a new video every single day using one palette. So this week, the palette that I'm going to be using, I don't think I've ever used on my channel before, and it is the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette. Um, this palette has been out for a while, and I just haven't used it on my channel, and to be quite honest, I very rarely actually pick it up when I'm doing my makeup. I've used this more on other people than I have on myself, and I don't think I've actually used it to complete a full completed eye look on myself either. So I'm trying to use this more. Just a couple more things before we jump into this video. You'll probably be seeing the same exact intro before all my videos this week. These videos are also going to be a combination of voiceover and talk through just depending on what I'm feeling like that day when I film. So I think that is all. I know this intro is already long enough. Let's go ahead and jump into the video. All right, so of course I'm starting off by priming my eyes with the Tarte Shape Tape Eye Primer, but for this look, I'm not setting this primer down. I'm just leaving it as is. So the first shade that I'm taking is this one right here in Silk Cream, and I'm just using this as a transition shade in my crease, and I'm taking this pretty high up towards my eyebrow as well because I really want this transition shade to show through. So next I'm going to be taking Roxanne and this I'm kind of being a little messy with. I'm putting it mostly on the outer part of my lid but I'm also running it through my crease as well so I can start deepening it up. And then now I'm just going back in with Silk Cream and blending it. I go back and forth between all of these colors a lot. Now I'm taking Hunts and I'm just putting this kind of right where I put silk cream at the beginning just taking it a little lower because I'm going to go back and blend silk cream on top of that. I'm just really working with these making sure they are all, all nicely blended together and there's nothing too harsh going on. Um, I feel like I did leave some harsh areas at the very end after looking at this footage back like I could have blended out some spots a little bit better. I'm just really going back and forth between um, all of these shades right now and making sure I really like the way it looks. Now I'm going in with Jax, Jax, I think, and this I could have gone without using this shade, um, but I'm putting this all over my lid and try and kind of blending it in because I had a specific look in mind, but once I started getting the shades on my eyes, I didn't really like it, so now I'm going in with crayon apple because I thought this would complement that shade that I just put down on my lid but I didn't really like the way they all looked because all the colors that I used first are kind of more of like a bronzy so I'm going to go on top of this in just a second with this color right here in firework this really kind of ties it together and brings that like bronzy coppery colors um together because the mattes that I used at the beginning were more like copper or bronzy and I think this just looks so much better. Now I'm about to go in and blend like crazy and add so many more colors going back and forth between all the matte colors that I have in, on my eyes right now. Now going in with these first two shades in In Light and Beam and mixing them together and highlighting my brow bone with it. I very rarely highlight my brow bone with shimmer shadows. So I'm going back in with Silk Cream to kind of blend it out and soften up those edges because I felt like it was just a little too much. I probably would go without the highlight next time. Now doing under my eyes, I'm going in with Hunts and blending this there and connecting it to the upper lid. 
this is where I started messing up. Um, I think and I felt like this is where I think things got a little too unblended. Um, I just kept adding color to the outer V and it just didn't look right at the very end on this eye at least. My other eye looked fine, but for some reason this eye, it just, I don't like the way it turned out at the very end, like as I'm watching this footage, it just didn't look good to me. So I'd probably do this same eye look, just blend it in a different way and make sure everything's a little bit better, blend it a little bit better. For the inner corner highlight, I'm taking Sissy on the inner part. Of course, it's my inner corner highlight, duh. And just so you know, the two shimmery shades I put on my lid, I did wet the brush first. All right, so really quickly, I just want to say this is my first time using Lily Lashes. These are the ones in Miami, and I'm sorry, why haven't I tried these before? These look so good. I mean, they're a lot longer than lashes that I would normally wear. And the band was a little thicker than lashes I normally wear, but they were super easy to apply. Like, normally thicker bands are really hard to apply, but these were, oh my god. I, I'm gonna have to try more. So this is a completed look. I, I like it. Um... It's a little bit different than something I'd go for. I did it in like a different way than I would normally do. I feel like I would use these tones, um, but I wouldn't do it such in such a dramatic way. But I really wanted to step outside the um, my comfort zone and do something a little bit different. So I really do like it. It, it looks really good. Um, I feel like it brings out some of the colors in my eyes. I have hazel eyes. And I feel like it's bringing out some more of the green, greenish blues in it. Um, and I really like it. I'm super excited to create some more looks for you for the rest of the week. Um, I will keep you guys posted on my Instagram as I upload these videos. So definitely follow me there. I'll have the link in the description box down below. Also, if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel before you leave. You can also turn on the notification bell just so you'll be notified anytime that I post a video. I know I'm not the most consistent uploader, but I'm really going to try to work on it this year and really focus on my channel. Follow me on Instagram. I'll have all my other socials down there below, but most of the time I'm on Instagram before I'm on anything else. So definitely follow me there if nowhere else. I think that's all I have to say. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you next time. Bye guys.